All right, the next set of items that I'm going to talk about, one of them is the storage crystal charger. Storage crystal charger is simply uh, to store crystal energy in these energy storage crystals. Simple enough. I currently have the Aru storage crystal in there, which is the highest tier. It stores a fantastically gigantic amount of power in there. But uh, yeah, that's uh, what this storage crystal charger does. And since this guy has some power, the next item that we will want to uh, do with it is both the teleportation pump and the mineral extract. All right, so let's place down some random fluids. Put lava there, put an oil there and there and there, another oil there. Then we'll throw down a water. Just, you know, all around. It'll do its thing. Um, so let's put down the teleportation pump first. Alright guys. So here we have um, the teleportation pump and I also have some crystal tank controllers next to them. We're going to put one bucket of each of the fluid types that we have in each of these. So that each tank is designated as such. Now the cool thing about the crystal tanks, uh, before we get to the teleportation pump, is that they will take up to um, each uh, block, increases the tank size, like one tank is 16 buckets, uh, two is 36, and then uh, however many this is, is 240 buckets of uh, liquid. And they can be in any uh, shape you can possibly configure them. Uh, if you make five stacks of continuous crystal tank blocks, you will be able to store two million buckets of fluid. Anyway, to the teleportation pump. So the teleportation pump requires the energy crystal in order to function. Now say you want to harvest some lava. There's some lava in the world. and So you just click on that and... oh. The lava source block over there got teleported into the tank. Now let's say you want to gather some oil. And there's, looks like there's four buckets in its search radius. Click on that and it will grab those buckets. And we now have five buckets of oil in the crystal tank. And those oil sources and flows are going away. Now let's say we want some water. Grab the water. And oh, we now have eight buckets of water in there all thanks to the teleportation pump the cool thing about the teleportation pump is that that it automatically exports its fluids to any side so say you're at your base and you want to have um oil lava and water just suck up every source uh, in the radius of this thing and i believe it's just a 252 radius search uh for any fluids and so you just attach the crystal tanks or drums or whatever you want to the sides of this thing and it will gather them and pull them out note it does consume a little bit of energy per bucket you can decrease the cost and increase the speed by putting in the operation speed bonus and the energy bonus um uh upgrades into it next up we have the mineral extractor the mineral extractor acts exactly like the teleportation pump but works on ores now, the cool thing about the uh, mineral extractor is that it will see uh, chromatic craft ores and apply fortune 10 to them. So let's grab ourselves a big obsidian chest. There we go. Put that down right on top of it. And you'll notice that it is currently doing a scan of the radius that it can do for the ores now let's just throw in a uh, speed bonus and the silk touch bonus you'll notice that the scan is going far faster now if we come over here mm. grab the aru storage crystal and do that you'll notice that hey it has a nifty little render of the storage crystal inside grab all those out you'll notice that for each upgrade that you put in it it gets a different color of Upgrade and if you put it in the wrong slot, nothing actually happens. But that one gets red, this one's a blue, this one's a green. 
when they all combine they make this fabulous little uh, energy node inside and then when you put the energy crystal it looks super really cool and does that uh, so I'll be back once this scan is done all right so the mineral extractor is done and it found four loppies supposedly I only count two uh, two redstone oh I think it just doubled everything because I did uh, crash um, because I was doing something wrong um, but it's found all these items and when you right click it with the elemental manipulator it converts all of the ores into stones grabs all the ores and puts them in there and yeah it's a lot of materials that it gained and it's quite quick as well so um you better have a sorting system that can uh, keep up with multiple stacks of items per second <laughs> just throwing that out there